Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So, for this episode, to start off, we've got the bazaar. And we should be heading over there right, right now, actually. But first, we're going to want to stop along the way and pick up some stuff from the manufacturing windmill. Oh, but before we do that, we actually need to go and grab some eggs. Alright. And unfortunately, no gold egg today. Let's not throw a rock at our pregnant wife. That would be bad. Anyway, in addition today, I would like to try and get a random event triggered. We can trigger most of the random events in this game, but we really just haven't been showing up in the places we need to be to trigger those random events. So... But... For this one, I, I know where it is, I know when it is, it's just a matter of actually remembering to show up there. Yeah, I know, Sherry's, Sherry's going to sell seeds at the bazaar when she's pregnant. In the cold, yeah, exactly though, in the cold, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would be bad enough if she was going to sell seeds, you know, during the spring or the summer or even the fall, but in the middle of winter? Come on. Take some maternity leave. Yeah, yeah, it's unpaid, but... I mean, come on, we can afford for you to stay home. Not risk our baby. Anyway, at the bazaar today, not only will we be selling that pink brooch that you might have seen last episode, but we will also be selling this green bracelet. Both of those three stars, which... Yeah, star rating on jewelry increases its value by a lot, which is why putting in that wonderful, I think it's the red wonderful, that increases star rating by a half a star, the finished product, is so nice to have in the manufacturing windmill. All right, you ready to see how much the pink brooch and the green bracelet are worth? We're gonna start with the green bracelet. 57,600 G. And the pink brooch is 128,000 G. With those two alone, we can win on sales for the week. It's actually nutty. And apparently, plenty of people come by with enough money for that stuff. For, you know, these, these expensive pieces of jewelry. I mean, apparently none right now, as soon as I mention it, they're just like, oh, here, here's, here's one of them. <laughs> so crazy. See, the real money is in jewelry making. Antoinette's got it right, even though she doesn't have a stall open. That'd actually be pretty cool. But yeah, that's why she's always looking for Lloyd's shop, is because, well, she needs ores for her jewelry making. And so, yeah, Lore, Lore sells oids, Lloyd sells ores, so. Oh, my glasses! I can't find my glasses! They're on your head. What? Oh, you're right. Thank you. I didn't notice them at all. Look, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? It's on the right side. Just look to your right. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. Hey, you there, could you give me this cucumber? Of course not, sure. Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, I'm actually a secret critic. Just getting, I li just like getting stuff for free, thanks. And what are you gonna do? If you wanna win on reputation, you gotta give stuff away for free, apparently. That's what this game has taught me. That's not actually good advice for... See, here's the thing, you want to have a good reputation when you're running a business, but you don't want to be giving away, giving things away for free. That will just attract the exact wrong type of customer. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to do all that YouTube algorithm stuff everybody's always bragging about. The liking, the subscribing, the bell icon stuff, and my personal favorite, your thoughts down in the comments below. All that stuff really does help me out, and I do appreciate it. And it also helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently. So do not forget. 
you get an extra prize for winning reputation. If you don't win on sales, then that's your only... W or if you don't get first or second or third on sales, then that's your only way of getting a prize at the bizarre results, is to win on reputation. And if you win on sales and reputation, you get an extra special prize, which I think at the... F it's either at the 25% bizarre or at the 50% bizarre is actually worse than the prize you get for just winning on sales. Which is a little ridiculous, but... No. But for all other bazaars, uh, all other size bazaars, it's good to win on reputation and on sales. Although, it's generally not worth it to be giving stuff away for free just to win on reputation, but uh, I like winning on reputation. Higgs and scrap metal! Ah, oh, good to see you, Ray. Would you happen to know where the mayor is? He's the same place I told you last week. Ah, I see. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the cost of giving stuff away for free to win on reputation, even like, even just like scrap metal or something like that, it's usually not worth it. I mean, we got good wool last week. That was what, so that's, I guess, worth about 2,000 G. But, yeah. I think we had to give away a great mayonnaise just for one boost to our reputation. I think we're gonna want to make our stall bigger. The last upgrade from these carpent from either of these carpenters. Actually, in well, I was checking something out. I went up to Wilbur and I said, "Nice to see you. Welcome to Wilbur's workshop. Your farm is perfect. There's nothing more I can do to improve it." So yeah, he won't even entertain the notion of. Okay, so we're gonna get some silver here, definitely. But we're also gonna get plenty of Mithro. Eat, maybe? I don't know. The thing about Mithril, though, is that we can get that every single week. Obviously, he sells it every single week. So, not really sure we want to be spending too much on it. So, maybe that was a mistake to buy that much, but I don't know. Hello there. Welcome to Super Lucky Lotto. Would you like to play? All right. So we can play five times, two gold, two with gold coins, one with silver, and two with copper. I'm having flashbacks. And another scrap metal, please. Oh man. Twice I have tested this off camera, and twice I have gotten uh, magic water when I test off camera, and yet any time I turn on my, my recording software, it is like, nah, you get scrap metal. Okay. Hey, we won something. Nice, an emerald. Cool. We can make another emerald bracelet. Another green bracelet. Come on, pink diamond. Oh, fifth place price. Well, okay. We can make plenty of jewelry from what we've won here. So. Boiled tofu fried rice. Oh, he's sweet milk. Why? you have against your customers, Claire? I think she just hates me. So this item that we're having wrapped, this flower, that'll be for Antoinette's birthday, which is coming up this week. Not this episode, but later on this week. Even though I think we're actually at Max Hearts with, uh, with Antoinette. Alright. One ticket. And one first ticket is a loser. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, second place prize. Good cheese. Nice. Third ticket. Fourth place prize. Material store. 
gosh darn it. Okay, fourth ticket. And... Third place prize. Honey. That's not too bad. I hear harvest sprites like that, but I mean... Clearly those aren't real. Oh, no. Fourth place prize. An egg. Well, better than material stone. Maybe. Alright. Ooh! Orange wonderful. Nice. So we'll get this, uh, even though we don't really have much use for it, uh, because, well, it, we don't really need to be processing 30 things at once. Welcome, welcome. Would you like our fortune, Red? Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? You may find something good on the path that you usually take. So did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back any time. It... It really didn't. Sherry, you're pregnant. Go back home. Go back home. Rest. Take a leave of absence, please. Okay, thank goodness Felix is selling the cat bell. Oh, I don't know if I... I don't think I included it in the last episode, but... We kind of lost our cat bell. It just... Disappeared. And I don't know where it went, so... It does that sometimes, so it's good to have a backup, and we didn't have a backup, but now we do. Hmm. Boiled potato. Okay. Sure, why not? I prefer steaming, but boiling's fine too. Boiled potatoes with butter and sour cream. Mmm. And of course, salt and pepper. By the way, okay, so I did look up what a raclette is, and actually, it's pretty fancy. So that is very fitting for uh, for Nelly to be serving. Mmm. I could just give Nelly a whole bunch of corn soup because I know she likes that. Buy corn soup from Nelly and then just give it to her over and over again. Hey, remember that corn soup I bought? Here, have some. From you, have some of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some Chinese dumplings, how about that? For given to everyone. I hope somebody in town likes it. I don't know. Alright, let's sell the stuff that we got. Uh, we're th I think we're 30 short on reputation, and... I can't go on anymore. Not another step. I'm pooped. I might be okay if I had this scrap metal. But why? Oh, you're so kind. I'm so moved. Thank you. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Please. Alright. Yeah, we've met the goal and then some... Which is why I was not too concerned about the purple necklace being done. Uh, Claire, do you have anything people might like? Fried rice. I don't think I've tried giving people this, so... Alright. We'll try this. Alright, so... Mm. Oh, and we forgot to visit Isaac. Hold on, let's visit, visit Isaac's stall. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. Have you ever overeaten, Ray? I do it all the time, unfortunately. I always get yelled at by Nelly because of it. In the same way, too much fertilizer isn't good for your crops. Anyway, I think I need to control my eating habits better. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. That is very true, and uh, this game stops you from putting too much fertilizer on crop, so that's good. Actually, let's go ahead and have this boiled potato over at the cafe. Alright. Mmm. Delicious. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just love boiled potatoes. I just love potatoes in general. Alright, hello. Oops. <laughs> Not particularly fond of that, I see. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, what you were saying about missing the goal, that's, that's normal. Anytime you first upgrade the bazaar, or really just first start, uh, you're gonna have trouble meeting the goal. And that's fine. I mean, you don't get, like, a m major boost from the from the prize. It's not like, oh, you need the prize. To, no, it's fine. And you don't need to... Whoops. And you don't need to meet the goal to have your contributions counted, you know? So, it... it Meeting the goal just gets, gets makes you more likely to win the prize, I guess. If you meet the top end of the goal, then I think you're guaranteed first place. And if you meet the bottom end, then you're guaranteed either second, first or, or bleh, second or third. Oh my goodness, can I words, please? For me? Hey, thanks! Hey, Lori. It must be nice to be young and full of energy. For me? Why, thank you. That's very nice of you, Ray. It's kind of impossible to play the game bad. It doesn't matter. Look, like, there are ways that you can get to 100%. You can 100% the bazaar in a year, and plenty of people do that. There's a there's a guide out there that tells you how. But you'll know we're near the end of year two, and we're not even halfway towards 100%ing the bazaar. So, I, I mean, I don't think it's a good idea to try and just rush through it. Just, you know, take it at, a, at an easy pace. And, yeah. Oops. And that's, that's how you be good at this game, is you, is you play through it at a, at a slow, easy pace. Yo! Yuri, a place to the bazaar is ready. I think you'll like it. All right then, see you at the next bazaar. And that is the last time we will ever be hiring Ganon. Because, well, I mean, his work is done. Our story, our storage is fully powered up. Our bazaar stall is fully expanded. There's nothing more he can do for us. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bazaar results! Our top three earners in third place with 134,000 G! Claire! Congratulations! In second place with 160,000 G! Jones Store, congratulations! And in first place, with 259,860G, almost 100,000G more than second place. Nice. The power of jewel craft. Ray, congratulations! My goodness, well done, Ray. Yeah, yeah, my goodness indeed. And the person with the happiest customers was... Joan! The customer said your service was top-notch! <laughs> you old and the town proud! Keep up the good work! For being in the top three, Ray will receive a token of thanks! A Muscati! I hope you like it! Grape tea, that's interesting. For our goal to be the best bazaar in the world, we are... slowly inching forward. Our progress seems slow, but we've got to keep at it. Okay, let's keep trying. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it! Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar! Did I just accidentally eat the fried rice? I think I did. Hey. Alright, who would like the fried rice between the two of them? 
Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? Thanks. I'm impressed that you know what I like. Well, she didn't like it extraordinarily well, but... Um, hello. For me? Th thank you very much. Oh, half star increase on the... So, now three and a half stars for the... For the Tau Trio. Eggs. Nice. Oh, and then we gotta head down into the basement. All right. Cannot forget. Alright, turnips are done. And so once the potatoes are done, we're gonna switch over to the summer sun and start growing summer crops in here. And they should be done tomorrow, actually. I think. Let me just make sure that's not for. Daisy, I have a question. What is it? I want to give a boy a present. What would be a good thing to give? I want to know too. Oh my, you have a crush on someone? Don't worry, I know all about this sort of thing. Yay! Thank you. What's important is research. You need to ask the boy questions to learn what he likes. I see. If it's something you can make, even better. Why is that? Handmade gifts are more personal. They show that you put a lot of time and care into the gift. That makes sense. And look him in the eyes when you give him the gift. Look him in the eyes? Yes. Give him a look that lets him know what he means to you. We'll try it. Yeah. Thanks, Daisy. Thank you. Good luck, you two. Three little girls discussing how to give a present. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey. But yes, actually, that is good advice. Daisy did, did provide good advice to the girls. Um, excuse me? You maybe want to head inside? So you're not stuck outside all night? Hold on, let me... Which one are you? Glaceon. Of course it's Glaceon. The one always trying to be outside in the snow. Gosh darn it, Glaceon. Why? Actually, I know why. Well, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one. And I hope that I will see you later. Bye.